Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Rapuano, Chief of the Cornea Service at Wilsey Hospital, and I'm here with my associate, Biren McPara, also on the Cornea Service at Wilsey Hospital. We're coming to you from the Wilsey Alumni Society newsroom at Wilsey Hospital in Philadelphia. We're here today to talk about shingles, shingles around the body, especially shingles in the eye, and also ways to prevent it. Biren, can you tell us a little bit about shingles around the body and also in the eye? Sure, Chris, I'd love to. Um, so shingles, um, it actually first um, starts out as chickenpox. We're all exposed to the chickenpox virus at a young age, um, and then it goes dormant in the body. And years later, maybe in the 50s, 60s, 70s, for reasons that we really don't know why, it becomes reactivated in the form of the shingles um, virus. Um, the way shingles typically presents is with the rash, either on the body, on the face, and if it's, it's often a painful rash. Sometimes it can be minor, sometimes it can be quite severe. Um, but it can affect other things as well. You can, once the rash goes away, you can get something called um, post-herpetic neuralgia, which is a painful condition that, that can take months and months to go away, and sometimes it never goes away. It's a severe pain sometimes that is just devastating to patients. Difficult to treat. And what about in the eye? What if shingles gets in the eye? Is that a problem, or does it go away, kind of? Shingles in the eye can be a very tricky problem. It can affect all parts of the eye. It can affect the front of the eye, the cornea. It can affect structures inside the eye, like the retina. And if not treated um, quickly and effectively, it can lead to vision loss. Yeah, and, and glaucoma is another issue that one can get. Sure. So it can affect all kinds of problems um, in the eye. Now, shingles seems to be more prevalent, more common now than 10, 15, 20 years ago, not only in the US, but around the world. And again, we don't know exactly why, why that is. Are there any ways to prevent shingles? Uh, there is. There's actually a very good way to prevent shingles. There's a shingles vaccine that's been available uh, for about the last 10 years called the Zostavax, um, and it's, it's done a very good job. Um, the Zostavax um, is recommended um, in patients 60 and over currently, and it reduces the risk of getting shingles by about 50%. Um, and is that 50% in all comers? from you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or is there a difference? That's a good question. It's actually amongst the entire population. One of the issues with the Zostavax, though, is as our patients get older, the effectiveness of the vaccine goes down. Um, the other nice thing about the Zostavax is even if you do get the shingles virus, um, the severity of the infection is sometimes less, and it reduces the risk of getting um, this post-herpetic neuralgia by about 66%. That's good. Now, the Zostavax is, is a live, kind of attenuated, a weakened virus, so it's not recommended in patients who are immunocompromised. So there are, there's a subset of our patients that are really not great for the Zostavax. Exactly, and that's an issue because it's often these immunocompromised patients that are at higher risk for getting uh, the shingles virus. Um, anything new with uh, vaccines? Yeah, we're, we're quite excited about this. There's been a newly approved FDA, uh, a newly FDA approved um, immunization for shingles called the Shingrix, um, recently approved about, I think, a month ago. Um, and the reason we're excited about this, and, and the CDC is, is excited about it as well, is that it, it seems to be more effective in preventing the virus. Um, the studies tell us that about 97% of patients that get this virus will not get shingles. And the great thing is um, this effect tends to last longer in life. So even patients 70 and over, it has about a 90% um, effectiveness. Yeah, that, you know, that's great. That's a big difference. And also, it's not a live virus. Exactly. Um, it's a kind of a subunit. It's particles. So theoretically, and we expect it to be um, good for patients who are immunocompromised. Exactly. Right. Um, and is this available right now? Can, it, can you go get it today? It's not available right now, but I believe you spoke with the manufacturer. What, right, what so did I they spoke say? To the, I spoke to uh, the manufacturer just yesterday, and they told me they hope it's available by the end of November 2017. So in the pretty near future, we hope it's available to patients. Um, How is it done exactly? Is it a one shot, multiple shots? Sure. You know, this is one of the downsides of this new vaccine. It does need to be administered in two separate doses. Um, I believe they're supposed to be eight weeks apart. Um, the other thing about this vaccine that, that we've read about is it does tend to be a little bit more painful when getting the um, injection. Typically, people are reporting um, soreness at the injection site for about two days. And, and there are a few systemic side effects like fevers, muscle aches, joint aches, but they typically go away by themselves in two days. Certainly, um, a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of pain certainly outweighs um, the potential pain and, and, and morbidity from uh, an actual shingles infection. Right. I mean, shingles infections are 
absolutely terrible in the whole body, and they're even, mo they're even worse with, with more severe complications and side effects in the eye. Um, my prior partner, uh, cornea specialist, got shingles in her eye and caused such problems, actually, that um, she had to stop uh, practicing medicine. So it's really potentially devastating. Um, so, Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. This is uh, wonderful news for medicine in general and ophthalmology um, specifically, and we're hoping to kind of have this, vac this new vaccine available to us in the near future, and certainly we'll recommend it to our patients 50 years and older to decrease the chance of this terrible condition. I'm Chris Rapuano, and I'm here with Bearden McParr from the Cornea Service at Wolsey Hospital in Philadelphia. Thank you very much.